Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. What? Christmas at this time of the year? I don't think so. So what are we talking about tonight? We're talking about comfort. Things that comfort us. So I don't want to talk about this kind of comfort. We're not having tears tonight. We're going to have some encouragement tonight. That's one of the things I'm really big on, especially here on my channel on YouTube, where I know I have a platform and I can get on there and I can talk about what I feel like I want to talk about and I don't really have to worry about it. And I want to talk about comforting each other and encouraging, encouraging each other. And why am I holding this box of soup? Well, I will tell you. So I today had a conversation with somebody who is in a transition state of life. And she is a family member that's trying to find a new norm. And because they are, she is too. And she's going through some tough stuff. And then I talked to somebody else and, and um, they're just in a tizzy about life. Life is just not where they want it to be. They're not where they want to be. And they're just you know, feeling that ugh, kind of feeling. Then I had a friend of mine, I, I she encountered a situation with a relative of hers where they got hurt. Now she's in a state of, I need some comfort and um, got a message from a relative and, and they're struggling with something and they need comfort. And you know what? Comfort is something that we all need at different stages of life. And comfort could be anything from Comforting, comforting a little kid, you know, that fell off their bike and, and they're fine, but they think they've, you know, broken 18,000 bones in their body and you pull out a lollipop and all of a sudden the tears stop and they realize they didn't really hurt themselves. They more or less just fell and, and it, it was a light fall. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, then there's other times you need to comfort someone who's dealing with grief or something along that heavy of a level of things and there's days where you just you yourself need comfort and today was one of those days you know I've told you I've been through a month of crazy been through the last week of crazy and today was crazy it, it, it was just an intense kind of a day and not a bad day but an intense kind of day enough of a day where I came home from work and I said to my husband I need some comfort food now we've been talking about routines and we've been talking about uh, comfort and just, you know, chaos. Finding comfort now is what I wanna talk about in times of chaos. Are you in chaos? I don't know, where are you? Where are you in life? So why am I holding this soup? Well, I came home tonight and I said to my husband, I need comfort food and I just need some soup. I don't care that it's 90 degrees here in New Jersey, I need soup. So I made my favorite soup that I grew up on as a kid. I love this soup. It's probably not the healthiest and I don't even wanna know how much of two grams of protein, whoopie doo. Um, yeah, yeah, not too much of the good stuff in here, but, but it was comforting. And I made canned biscuits. You know the ones that pop as you unravel them? And it was comforting. It was just right. And we put on, how many of you were sci-fi fans? Yeah, me and my husband, every day, every night for 36 years of marriage and two years before that with dating and engagement. 38 years together, we watch Star Trek. We joke and we say Star Trek keeps a marriage together. So we found um, a new, new, at least new to us series and we watched that and he made split pea soup, I made this soup, we had some biscuits, and we felt comfort. So why am I talking to you about this? You know, you talk to friends, right? Don't you talk to a friend when you need comfort? That's some, one way you're doing it. So I'm talking to my friend here tonight. There's a friend out there, Not maybe not all of you, but there's a friend out there that needs to be comforted tonight or encouraged. And one of the things, like I said on my channel, I like to be encouragement. Uh, be an encourager and encourage you. And you guys are so encouraging to me through your emails and through your comments below. And um, <clears throat> I've been perusing through the comments. I haven't had a chance to respond to all of them, but 
So many of you gave me good makeup tips and I really appreciate that. It just shows that you care, you know, and that's a comfort to me. Somebody cared enough to leave a comment on something I questioned. And um, I think that's really cool. And then last night we were talking about comfort foods and somebody, um, well, there were several wonderful comments and many on comfort foods. And I thought, you know, it's just, it's neat because you leave a comment, I might leave a comment, somebody piggybacks onto that. We don't know each other. We're from around the United States of America and some are from other countries. And yet I feel like we have a community here that can comfort each other. And I have people put prayer requests on or you'll email me sometimes and say, can you pray? And um, know that I do read them. I don't have the time to respond to each and every one in depth, but when I get an email to pray, right then and there, I stop, like stop. You need to know right on the spot because I don't wanna forget and I do pray for the situation at hand. And even if you say, I can't go into detail, you know what, I don't need the details, the Lord knows, and I do pray for you. So what are some of the comfort foods that you find that are good? To, they're usually not a healthy salad. You know, I wish they were a healthy salad with a light vinaigrette dressing and lots of veggies. And, oh, you know, that is more to me of, I wanna get the job done, I wanna be healthy, I wanna do the right thing, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna have myself a good old fashioned, plain and simple salad. But there are other times that pizza, hot dogs, soup, um, pasta. To me, pasta, pasta, pasta. You can't get much better than pasta. Maybe bread, bread and butter, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't know, all kinds of foods like that that bring you comfort. Now you don't wanna get carried away and always be eating a pizza pie and you eat that every night of the week, you're gonna look like a pizza pie. So we need to be careful with that. But I think we need to find comfort and I'll tell you why. I had a coworker years ago and she, um, she was wound up pretty tight and I used to joke with her and we would work and she was always, she was a nervous Nelly and she would get very flustered. And I said to her, you know, today we could, we could laugh about the situation or we could cry about it. And today we're going to choose to laugh. And I don't know if I heard that somewhere or if I made it up, I don't know. But I used that with her and she found comfort in that saying. And when she would get herself in a tizzy, she would kind of out loudly remind herself of what I said and I'd be there and kind of root her on. But she was wound up so tight that she could snap. And I would tell her that you're wound up too tight. You're going to snap one day. You've got to learn to let things go. But I can't. It's got to be. And she, you know, if every T wasn't crossed and every die wasn't dotted, she... And listen, I get it. I want, I want to live a perfect life. I want my house in order. I want my nails to look beautiful. I want my makeup to look right. My hair due to be just so and my earrings to match. And yeah, I want all that. But you know what? I walked outside, it was pouring rain and I didn't have an umbrella. My hair got wet, my makeup started running. And then, you know, I, I probably maybe wore two different shoes that I didn't realize and got that underwear on that's full of holes and you shouldn't have worn them, you should have threw them out. And, you know, then I get in the car and I spill my coffee in the car and, and then I broke one of my nails trying to close the door because it's raining and, did that really happen? No. But you have days where you feel like that's the kind of day I'm having. And if you're wound up so tight, you're going to snap. And you're going to snap either, you know, maybe here, but you're going to snap at people. You're going to bark at people. And you're going to isolate yourself. And you're not going to have many friends. And I watch, I love watching people. I'm a people watcher. And I, my husband and I could sit anywhere and I just like watching people. And I try and imagine the story behind why they are as grumpy as they are. And you want to say to them, I'm really sorry, you're having a bad life, not just a bad day. And do you know people like that? One of the things I feel like for me watching them is, do they not know how to find comfort? And so it really made me think just watching what was going on today and then we were talking about comfort foods. Where do you find or how do you find comfort in chaos? 
Are you living in chaos right now? Are you feeling chaos right now? You need to know there's always hope for tomorrow. I have a podcast called Hope for Today, and it could be Hope for Tomorrow as well. And it's in the description below. You can go on YouTube. You can find it's probably the easiest place to find it. It's on Boxcast and it's on iTunes. It's on it's all the things I think it's even on Alexa right now. But um, the best platform probably since you're on YouTube, you can find it on there. It is a faith based podcast, but I talk about finding hope. And many of you need to find hope. You need to find that comfort. Comfort is in food. Comfort is in friendship. Comfort is by reading a good book. I have a, a friend that went to Vermont and she was just saying to me today, I need to go back to Vermont. She found comfort there. She found peace. She found a moment in time that she went, ah, oh. we all need to feel that ah oh, moment. And one of the things that helps me find comfort, and I don't know, is this encouraging to you? Is this a good, good tip? I don't know. But when I'm really, and I was two days ago, I was in a situation that my, my van broke down and we only got a new van. I think it was in November and, and I, it, I envisioned the worst by what it seemed to be happening. We still don't know, but I got myself in a tizzy and yes, I was wound up too tight and you, if you're too tight, you're going to snap. And I needed to stop myself and find comfort and I needed to find hope and I needed to, well, we were able to borrow a car and I got our van to the shop and I had a friend pick me up and I've been able to get to work and so on and so forth. Okay, baby steps. Finding comfort in those things that I got it. I was able to borrow a car. I was able to get the van to the shop. I was able to fill in the blank and all of a sudden it kind of relaxes you a little bit and brings you some comfort that okay it's okay it's okay for today it's okay for today so where do you find comfort is it a place do you like going somewhere Dollar Tree so many of you have sent me gift cards like a five dollar or something gift card for Dollar Tree and said go and enjoy I keep them in the one spot in my purse and I enjoy, let me tell you, I enjoy. Um, yes, I go to the Dollar Tree. Retail therapy is comforting. And you know, if you give somebody a $5 gift card that's in love with Dollar Tree, you get five new items or maybe now four point some items, but you know what I mean. You can go and you can pick up a few new things just to put a smile on your face, to bring you comfort. My one sister periodically sends me a $5 gift card online. You can send it through Facebook Messenger and things like that. And she'll say, go buy coffee and a donut. And I save that $5 before I put it in my account. This way, when I need some comfort, I can get coffee and a donut. And I always take a picture and I hold it up and I say, hey, I got my coffee and a donut. I just wanted to let you know. Maybe you find comfort in talking to a certain person. Maybe you find comfort in a TV show. You know, we all need to pull away sometimes and have that moment of comfort. And if you're in the middle of chaos right now, give yourself grace. Give yourself that grace to know it is okay to have a box or a package of Lipton soup. It's okay to eat canned biscuits. It's okay to go to the Dollar Tree and buy yourself a treat. It's okay to watch a Christmas show in the middle of July, as you saw, yes. By the time July rolls around, this woman, the one you're looking at right here, is in total Christmas mode. Echo, how many days until Christmas? Christmas is in 170 days, on Monday, December 25th, 2023. Thank you, Echo. So did you hear that? 170 days until Christmas. But I love Christmas. I find comfort in Christmas. So I'll sing a Christmas carol. All the people I work with know, oh, here she goes again with her Christmas music. By the time July comes, I'm starting to feel, as we call it, the burr season. I love the burr season. What's the burr season? Hmm. Leave me a comment below and tell me if you know what it is. We're going to talk about that in an up and coming video. 
That is my favorite holiday season, the burr season. So we're gonna talk about that. But part of that is the Christmas time, but it's that joy, that fun music. I don't know, I find such joy and comfort in that. It's like a big blanket I'm wrapping around myself and I just feel great. So I don't know where you are in chaos. Do you have chaos in your life? Maybe you have a day of chaos. Maybe it's been a week, maybe it's been a month. Maybe it's been a year, maybe it's been longer. Give yourself grace, find things that bring you comfort and allow yourself to read that good book, have that bowl of ice cream, talk to a friend, go for a walk, go to the Dollar Tree, go for a visit. You know, I hope that this video brought you comfort. If there's one person out there that needed to hear this tonight, that needed to go, oh, Lynn just wrapped a blanket around me and made me feel like, ah, oh, right now, then I feel excited. If you found this video to be comforting, to be encouraging, to be uplifting, to be so silly and frivolous that it really didn't talk about a whole lot, but it was just what you needed tonight, do me a favor and pay me back by encouraging me and just saying, hey, Lynn, thanks for that. I needed it. And also, if you've stayed this long, leave a comment below of what your favorite Christmas song is. Let's do something totally different. All right, guys, we'll catch you all on the next video.